all animals. What's next? Taking over humanity? Four baboons in San Antonio proved to be quite a handful when they freed themselves from a research center last Saturday by climbing over a barrel and an enclosure wall. According to Texas Biomedical Research Institute, the facility holds about 1,100 baboons for vaccine tests and drug therapy. The enclosure area has inward-leaning walls to keep baboons from escaping, but the blue barrels filled with grains were recently added so animals can roll them around to shake out food. However, one clever baboon figured out how to place a barrel upright and use it to get to the top of the wall. Three other baboons saw this and joined in on the great escape. One baboon later decided to surrender and return to the enclosure. Wise choice, buddy. Southwest National Primate Research Center's animal care team captured two of the three baboons, while the last one was caught after it was called back with verbal and hand signaling commands. To avoid another great escape, the Institute decided to remove the barrels. The Institute told Gizmodo the baboons were not being tested for meds that enhance intelligence. Instead, the baboons in the corral were typically used for breeding. In response to the incident, the Institute said they've been caring for research baboons for more than 50 years. The baboons have played an important role in helping to develop life-saving drugs, therapies, and vaccines, and also helping scientists learn more about chronic human diseases. Yay, animal friends! Japanese women go bananas over hunky gorilla. A gorilla has stolen the hearts of women all over Japan. A western lowland gorilla named Shibani has got tons of women regularly flocking towards Higashiyama Zoo and Botanical Gardens in Nagoya. According to the Chunichi Shimbun, zoo officials said that the number of female visitors to the zoo has increased exponentially due to Shabani's popularity on Twitter, where women post pictures of the gorilla and say he is extremely handsome. Shabani was formerly from the Netherlands, grew up in Australia, then moved to Japan in 2007, where he has now earned the nickname Ikemen, which is Japanese for good-looking man. Don't agree? Well, look into that dark, brooding face. Look at his eyes, dark and piercing. Would you look at the guns on him? Step aside, Donkey Kong. Now we have Hunky Kong. And this one does not need to kidnap princesses. They go to him, willingly. Unfortunately, you'd have to trek to Japan if you want to see Shibani. If you're already in Japan, visit the Higashiyama Zoo and Botanical Gardens and join the rest of the swooning girls. Raccoon Family shows off its incredible teamwork skills. In the animal kingdom, it's all about teamwork. Video footage uploaded to LiveLeak shows one raccoon family working together to scale a wall. The footage starts out with a mother raccoon trying to push up one of her babies, while another baby is behind her, trying to lend a helping paw. The mother grabs the little guy, but loses her grip on the little feller, causing him to drop back down. The baby starts to climb up the wall by itself, and that's when the mother grabs it by the back of the neck and starts to pull the little one up. With the mother holding on to the wall with her two back paws, she slowly backs up and finally helps the baby get over the hump. Mission accomplished. Nom nom. Is this the beginning of the end? Residents of an Ohio town are seriously spooked after raccoons in a neighborhood began exhibiting some very strange behavior. One man was with his dog in broad daylight when he spotted a raccoon approaching. It stood on its hind legs and bared its teeth before collapsing into a comatose state. 
It got back up moments later, but the man didn't stick around to figure out if it was rabid, undead, or something else entirely. Smart. Police reported receiving 14 other complaints in Youngstown over three weeks, and have put down all the animals, which were likely suffering from distemper and not rabies. Distemper is a viral disease that causes coughing and seizures in raccoons and causes them to lose their fear of humans. Pets and other animals may be infected, so it's best to steer clear of any weird critters, though it's at least not transmissible to humans. Let's just hope it stays that way. No one needs the walking dead at their doorstep. The world is stressful enough already.